can't believe I'm doing this. When I say that Finland has changed my life, I literally mean it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the first video that I'm doing for YouTube ever in my life. And even though I've been creating <coughs> even though I've been creating content in other social media such as TikTok or Instagram, this is my first time on YouTube and I'm nervous as hell. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Welcome again, this is my YouTube channel, I'm Nerea, I'm from Spain, but now I'm living, working and studying in Finland. I came three years ago, and when I say that Finland has changed my complete life, and not only my life, but also me, I literally mean it. Starting by the fact that I'm here talking to a camera and opening up to the whole world and whatever is coming. The person who came here, it's not the person that you are watching right now on the screen. That's why I say that I've changed a lot. And as this is the first video that I'm doing for YouTube, I will just try to make a brief introduction about how and why I say that Finland has changed me so much. And little by little, I will start opening up more and sharing a bit of everything that has happened into my life during these three years. All these things have changed me somehow. And now that I look back is when I understand that everything has to happen that way. So let's start with the summary. I came three years ago. I'm an architect. When I came, I had a job in construction. I was working as a project manager, especially in wind farms or other kind of big projects like uh, hospitals or engineering things. When I came, it was my first job ever. I had finished my studies like so recently and right after finishing I got this job and I moved here so I was basically a baby in the working world. I had basically no experience at all, nothing at all and also in the world of moving abroad. So when I came I had this illusion of I want to do it, everything perfect, I want to just build my whole life again because I'm having the best time of my life. You know this feeling when you are just changing your life? I get that feeling. So I put all my time, effort, my soul, my energy, my health into that, into that job. So what happened? Of course, when you give your 100% into something and you forget about yourself, what happens is that you go burn out. I went burn out. So I quit that job because I was basically losing myself, my health and everything into that job. I quit. I went through this kind of period of questions like, should I stay in Finland? Should I go? Because this, this job brought me to Finland, but now I quit this job. So what do I do now? <laughs> Spoiler alert, I decided to stay and then I stayed. <laughs> Here I am still. What happened next? After quitting this job, I decided to I decided to open my own company here because of course I was so prepared to open my own company in another different country. Amazing. Yeah, uh, spoiler alert, it was the biggest failure of my life. <laughs> but it's okay because we can learn something from everything. I tried and I failed. I can say it and it's okay. So after trying to open this business, I lost like kind of everything, all the money that I had saved, all the friends that I had, everything was gone. And after that, the, the situation was even worse because everything in my life disappeared and I went through a period of isolation around eight months. And when I say isolation is I had no contact with anyone during eight months in Finland in winter and I survived. <laughs> it was hard, but I had two options. The first option, got depressed. The second option, be brave. And I decided I want to be brave. Believe it or not, in the middle of 
all this chaos of life that I had, I was feeling happier than ever before. It's quite of ironic, but I found myself in the middle of all, all this chaos. I was basically so broken that in the middle of all these pieces of me, I found my light again. And that's when I decided, okay, I want to change my life. During these eight months, I connected again to myself to heal my things that I had to solve with myself, to gain again self-confidence. I wrote my self-concept. I didn't know who I was. I had been living with me for around 25, 26 years and I had no idea of who I was. So I just decided during this period of time, I want to get to know myself better because I deserve to know myself. I'm not gonna lie, it was not easy, it was not fast, uh, it took me eight months. But little by little, I started to trust myself again, to love myself again. And one day I woke up and I thought, enough. I've gone through all of this because of something. I don't know why, I don't know what is that reason or what is the purpose of all of this, but I will figure it out. For now, I'm just deciding that everything that I've gone through, I want to do something with that. I want to put that into the world because maybe I can help someone, because maybe there's someone out there who needs to hear something because they are going through the same situation. So basically, I woke up with a feeling of, I want to share my shit with the world. <laughs> And here we are. Let's start by just going out of the hole. The hole that I had created for myself, I want to go out of here. I found a job. In this job, I met amazing people. These people told me how to start the studying finish. Then I started the studying finish. Uh, when I started the school, I became more confident about, okay, I can just embrace this culture from the inside because now I have the opportunity of also understanding the language and try to speak it. I'm still trying to keep me down. <laughs> the next chapter was starting creating content. I started on TikTok, nothing to do with this kind of content that I'm creating on YouTube. And little by little, I started to feel more confident. I'm starting to also connect with more people who are encouraging me and <laughs> who are encouraging me to keep going and trying. I became some sort of content creator uh, doing, I don't know what I was doing, but I was doing it. And I was really enjoying it. Whatever, actually, I was quite new on TikTok. After a few months posting with no objective at all, I was just posting. This was the pivotal point of all of this because once I started studying Finnish, I also started to share this kind of Finnish me on social media. So thanks to this moment when I started studying Finnish and becoming more confident of, okay, I can honestly be part of this culture, is when I looked back and I realized, wow, how much my life has changed. Like three years ago, I came with a job. They exploited me in this job. Then I quit. Then I was alone. I had no friends. I didn't know what I was doing with my life. But now I'm studying Finnish. I'm also creating content on social media. I'm connecting with a lot of different people. I have just changed my life. So double check, that was my goal. And still today, I have this feeling of, I can do something more. And here we are. So as I've said, this is just the first video and it's the first time that I'm doing this for uh, YouTube, so I have no idea how this will go. I don't know how often I can afford to post here, but I will try that at least to keep this kind of conversations maybe once a week. I think that's fine. Yes. So here is the first video that I'm throwing to the YouTube world. I hope you just like this brief introduction of my life and what is about to come. Um, I will try to be kind of consistent, the same as in my other social media, because this world is giving me quite a lot of energy and that's why I would love to stay here and keep creating content because all the energy that I put into the content that I create, I 
receive it back from you guys so i'm really grateful grateful so this was everything for today i think i'm forgetting a lot of stuff i'm new but I'm this annoying person who will come back next week. Hope you like this kind of video project that I'm starting now. We will improve together because I like this, like, because I will like this to be like fluently and energy flowing through the screen. Let's call it like that. Let's make it dynamic. So thank you for watching. See you next week. Moi moi.